inside of the very spacious Lucas Oil Stadium in downtown Indianapolis. Today, we're set for a good AFC matchup between the Miami Dolphins and the Indianapolis Colts. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started, and we are underway here on EA Sports. Wishing he had a mulligan. That's not how you want to start the game. Not at all, because not only do you give up the penalty and good field position, but it just kills the momentum of your team as you start a game. Now Foles. This one completes Alec Pierce. Room here to run. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. The catch and run going to wind up netting him 33 yards. Oftentimes now, offenses aren't nearly as precise as days gone by. They just tell receivers, find an open patch of grass and let the quarterback find you. And that's exactly what they did on that play. First with the pass through the air. Nice chunk of yardage there. And then additional pickup with his legs after the catch. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Here's Foles. That ball caught by Campbell. Touchdown! Paris Campbell, 29 yards. And the Colts march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. Foles will look to throw. That's caught. And he will dive into the end zone, and the two-point conversion is successful. They wasted no time showing how aggressive they're going to be in this game. They get the quick score, and then they go for two CD. Surf's up, partner. And when surf's up, you ride the wave. They felt great about that quick drive, put it in the end zone. Why not go for two? They felt comfortable with the play call that they had. And the home crowd loves it. And he'll be out of bounds across the 25. Here we go. Tug of Iloa and the Dolphins come up first and 10 at their own 27. They'll run here with the team Moster. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. From the gun, it's Tua. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. And this is dropped. Oh, boy. A chance for a big play early, but he could not secure it. Well, that's not the way you want to start a first pass attempt and a first drop all in one. Well, you've got plenty of time to make up for it, but obviously not the way you want to get things started. Got to shake that off and get going. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first and 10, it's Mostert. To the 43, second down. The last run got three, now here's second and seven. Again, they'll run it with Mostert. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Here's Tua. Getting this out to the flat, Mostert. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Looking to throw again on second down. Tua. Oh, this is intercepted, intended for Hill. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to take over at their own 13-yard line. Man, we see a lot of quarterbacks try and do this. They get out of the pocket, they get in trouble, and they try and force the ball into their star receiver to make a play. Sometimes whether he's open or not. And I think this time, he's definitely an or not. And now off to the races, down the right side. He's at the 30, 10, touchdown Indianapolis. Charles Edwin, six 
Bucks DBs out there. They were thinking past they surprised him with a long run. I wonder if they saw that and just checked to it. Maybe had an audible and said, you know something, get six defensive bats, let's run the football. Let's get our big guys downfield and match up with the littler guys and see if we can create some space. And not only did they create space, they created a path all the way to the end zone. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Taking it about the one. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? From the 27, Tua going to look deep for Wilson. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Rodney McLeod. And the Colts are going to have the football here at their own 35-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 at their 35-yard line. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. They'll get this to about the 38. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Second down, another run with Taylor. And some room to run now. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. So now first and 10 as they've crossed into Miami territory at the 37-yard line. Foles. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Buried behind the line by Christian Wilkins. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. They'll look to throw. This will be taken in by Michael Pittman. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. Now back to throw. He finds Pierce. It's complete. And he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. That is caught at the seven. And the Colts are going to have a first and goal as the tackle is made at about the five. They'll run here with Taylor. And he takes it in for a Colts score. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Colts take a three-touchdown lead. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively, obviously. Two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week? Not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with it. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. And once again, not much running room, if any at all. On third down, here comes Mostert. And he's not going to get anywhere close to the marker as he'll stop him well short of the yellow line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. 
They're going for it. Here's Tua with it. It's brought in by Wilson. And he will have a Dolphins first down as they manage to convert. And that will keep the drive alive. From the gun, a run with Mostert. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Now a play fake. Here's Tonga Bailoa. This one complete to Jalen Waddell. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. So the big play means just like that, they'll operate from the red zone now on first down. Throw left side, taken in by Hill. Ball at the eight here for second and a yard. Maybe a touch less. Now Tua. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Cedric Wilson from eight yards out. And the Dolphins get a bit closer. And it's no good. He missed it wide to the left. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. Taken in at the three. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And with a little under a minute to go, it's still time to try to put a drive together to add to their lead, should they so choose. And just no chance of turning the corner. He can only get back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 coming up. The Colts going to use the first of their timeouts as the clock stops here with 46 seconds remaining in the first half. So after the run for no gain, here's second and 10. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. He'll take a shot downfield for Pittman. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Picked up by Javon Holland. And the Dolphins are going to have the football here at their own 18 yard line. After the turnover, it's Tua. Oh, he's going up top for Wilson. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked up by Kenny Moore. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to capitalize on it. And that's something that could come back and haunt them later. They're begging their defense now to keep them from scoring before the half ends. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. They'll set up to throw. Touchdown, Colts! Mo Alley Cox as the first half is winding down. And the Colts would extend their lead here just before halftime. Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And the lead opens up now to 22 points. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. Well, a dangerous return man showing it here. Still going past the 30. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Miami. Well, he made the right choice by result, but a little bit surprising because now with touchbacks coming back to the 25 instead of the 20, when guys fielded that deep in the end zone, I think most coaches want to take a knee. Yeah, it's resulted in more kneel downs. Not right there. Maybe 
maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. This fielded right at the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And with only four seconds on the clock, time likely for just one snap of the football. And now this throw incomplete, and that is how this first half will come to an end. First half in the books. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gaunt, getting set for quarter number three here. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. Two and the Dolphins now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. And that one is going to sting. First play of the third quarter and a turnover. And you have to know that at halftime, they spent a lot of time going through their checklist of what they wanted to accomplish to start this third quarter. Turning it over like this was not on that list. Not at all. You, and you come out of the locker room trailing, so that first drive to establish momentum is very key. Crucial. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. The turnover put them in great field position. They don't want to squander it with third down coming up. No, not at all. And you know what else you do? You make your defense mad. Yeah. They got you the football, gave you a great opportunity. You've got to cash in and get some points. That one finds Pierce right side. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. They'll look to throw here. Caught by Woods. And he is going to have a course first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. From the gun, it's Taylor. And maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now Foles. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Xavier Howard. And the Dolphins are going to take possession here as they've got it at their own four-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They take over here following the interception. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts are going to take possession of the football. They had him back deep, got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10 yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash. The six yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Again, it'll be Taylor. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. Give him right around four on the carry. We'll see if they want to keep pounding here on third and goal. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. Yeah, this is going to depend on the spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. It'll be called a gain of two, and that'll leave him with some options here on fourth and inches. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Let's go! And Foles going to keep it himself. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. The sneak successful from a yard out. And the Colts' decision to go for it pays off with six points. 
Extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that pushes the lead up to 23. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. The lane opens here, he's past the 30. The 40. 20. And they are not going to catch him. He's in. Touchdown, Miami. I can't help it, partner. I get fired up. Two okay. kickoff returns for touchdowns in the same game. This is fun to watch. Yeah, we call a lot of games in a lot of different places. Sometimes it seems like we do it simultaneously, but we rarely get to see this. And he will find the end zone again. So he gets the touchdown and the two-point conversion, and that'll cut this deficit down a little bit further. Taken at the goal line. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. This is sort of what you would call a put away drive. As they, they score here, especially a touchdown, it's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because. What you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, the fact you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? Maybe a gain of a yard that time, but yeah, from the spot, actually no gain. So third and long. We'll see what they have drawn up here. A little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Oh, he's, and now look at this. Big gain, but a fumble. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. Well, you had an offense working with a comfortable two-score lead here in the third quarter and certainly doesn't feel as comfortable now following the turnover. Yeah, you're right about that because now the nerves start to come into play a little bit. You're a little bit jangled. You don't want to give your opponents any avenues to get back into the game. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Julian Blackman. And the Colts are going to get the football back as time will run out in this third quarter of play. So it'll be a change of possession on the turnover when we get back. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Foles. Forced out to his left. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. And he'll take it all the way up near the 30-yard line. That had disaster written all over. You've got a right-handed quarterback, a rolling left, and throwing it pretty far downfield. It's really difficult to do, to try and get your body twisted around into the proper position and get anything on the ball as you heave it downfield. And that's what it actually turns into, a heave. And that's not really a good throw, is it? Not good, and we saw the result. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. The interception was a great starting point, but now they need points pretty quickly, down two scores. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37, gain of nine. On second of the yard, Tua. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Brandon Faison. And the Colts are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. The number seven, usually lucky here, not for him. Work, seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he won the Heisman Trophy in college, so sometimes you just have a lousy game. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career, but when you're talking about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. Yeah, Ty Detmer the last to do it in 2001 to throw seven picks. On first down, he'll drop to throw. That's complete to Pierce. And so close, he gets it to the one. Out of bounds right there. Two jump plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Partner, I like that they're staying aggressive on offense because, to me, this drive is what is known as a put-away drive. You score. And he is over the line. 
for another rushing touchdown. Is he a quarterback or is he a tailback? Nick Foles with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. To throw once more on second and 10. Tua. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. Another throw there off the mark, and obviously he's battled all of the interceptions. Things just haven't been true to form for him. I don't know. What do you think's going on out there, CD? That's a great question, and my suspicion is he's been coached really well to not show that he's having a problem. You know, they always tell you no matter what, you keep throwing the football with confidence. But we're not seeing a confident thrower right now. He's off balance, the passing game's off balance, and the defense is taking advantage. And he's going to get this down near the 25. Up the middle they go with Moster. They'll get six on the play, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They're looking at second down now as they search for a consolation score. Four yards remain for second down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Looking to pass. Tua. And my goodness, another interception. Picked up by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, I mean, field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here, maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit to this defense. They've really stood tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. That one looks like he'll throw here. To the right side, complete to Taylor. He's at the 50. The 30. 10. 5. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor taking it goal line to goal line. 100 yards. And the Colts have opened up a four-touchdown lead here in the fourth. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. The extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. 
And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. Well, this game, it has had no shortage of offense. They've been able to put up a decent amount of points on this side, Charles. They just have not been able to keep pace with the other offense they're going against here. Yeah, it's a good way of pointing things out because now it's not a total loss because, as you said, they've scored some points, and there's some plays they can build on, moments where the game plan actually worked. But overall, though, they were just out personnel. They were going up against a team that's playing at an elite level. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Throwing now is Tugavailoa. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tough series for the passing game. Things just aren't clicking. Hope they can come through on this play and get this series back on track with a completion for enough yardage for a first down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. From the gun, it's Tua. Got a man here, it's Wilson. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. He's got them out now to a three-score lead here in the fourth quarter after that one, CD. And well, he looked right off the line like he knew that that ball was coming his way, and he secured it for six points. Yeah, I think when you're leading by a healthy margin already, it actually loosens you up and allows you to take maybe a few more chances and definitely play with more confidence because he certainly saw something he could exploit in the defense. He made sure to let his quarterback know, just get it to me. And the rest was all up to him, and he delivered and made it a three-score game. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down at the two. So close. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Another shot from the one on second and goal. And Foles going to keep it himself. And I don't think he got in. The big bodies up front held him at the one. And Foles going to keep it himself. Yeah, boy, a good surge defensively. It'll depend on the mark, but I'm not sure he got there. And Foles going to keep it himself. Try to wedge his way in there. No signal. I don't think he got there. He did it. They try the sneak, but not enough push. He doesn't get in. And the Dolphins celebrate their goal line stand. Here we go. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride. Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once. And now here is another interception. Picked up by Kenny Moore. And the Colts will take over possession here up at the 44. Well, it wasn't always pretty, but the interception there, that means that they should get out of here with a victory. Yeah, this is not a game that they're going to preserve for posterity on defense. But they did finish it off, didn't they? They did make the winning play to close things out. They'll take that one and head to the locker room. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their own 44. Foles. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked up by Javon Holland. Boy, that one was in the air for an agonizingly long time. Uh, just begging to be picked off, wasn't it? It's one thing if you're throwing a ball like that, trying to throw someone open or lead them into an area. But that ball needed to be thrown with a lot more conviction. As a result, it's an easy interception. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. One final try for Tungavailoa. 
Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Brandon Faison. And the Colts come up with a late turnover, but it will probably only matter to the statisticians as this ball game is now officially over. 